Does it seem like a doorway has opened to an unrecognizable strange world? Well, in the same way that World War I and II was used to shift the consciousness of all of its people to benefit a certain small number of people, the same thing is happening now except we're using uh, Cooties 19, the pandemic, to shift the way we think and to whom we're willing to submit and serve and our daily habits and actions we're willing to take. So it seems to be a really good time to get out of the cities. I mean, look at New York, all the rats and the protests and people uh, stealing things, the crimes up, the public services aren't being offered, and we haven't even run into any real trouble yet. And even in some of those grocery stores, they're completely running out of certain foods. And this is just a symptom of having so many people in one place. It's unnatural, it's unhealthy, and it could be unsafe. So, Regardless of whether things get better or worse, your life can certainly get better if you plan ahead and you build your own aircrete structure. You can put together a small, simple structure as a plan B. And one of the big advantages to doing the small structures first is that they can be chained together to have as large of a house as you want. But for those of you who have never worked the tools or have never completed a project, a large house of so say a thousand square feet or more is a tremendous amount of pressure and an undertaking that a lot of people just will not finish. They have doubts, they have uncertainties, and the best way in the world to solve all of that is to start small. Maybe it's just a storage structure and maybe it's just a simple little bedroom and bathroom until you build the rest of your house. And the reason is, when you start small, you get experience, you get that win under your belt, you get that confidence that you know that you're gonna be able to build your larger house because you've already successfully completed something. And it's very important to get that win, that psychological success, as well as a physical completion um, because you'll be much more likely to move forward and actually build your life if you start a large project. I mean, I build houses. I, uh, my last project was building uh, 12 three-bedroom quadruplexes. So basically a full-blown house, but four inside a house. And even after 30 years of being in construction, in every job there comes a point and a time where it's just overwhelming and it doesn't seem like it's going to get done. And without experience, without the positive mental attitude and the, the memory of success from the past, uh, a lot of people just aren't going to continue to push forward and move through it until it's done. And so that's why I encourage the small structures. Now, you know, this October we're having the Trilingual School of Alternative Building. We're going to be showing you how to build your own home. If maybe you can't quite afford to come to the workshop, that's okay. You can learn this on your own. And the basic tools that you're gonna need are gonna be an air compressor that can deliver 90 PSI at four cubic feet per minute. You're gonna need some basic measuring uh, buckets and uh, trowels. You're going to need a foam generator, which is a water pump and an air pressure regulator, uh, a solenoid valve, and a wand that's packed full of fine stainless steel wool. Not pot scrubbers, not the large, not the rough, but the fine stainless steel wool. And then it's just a matter of adjusting your air pressure until you get a, a foam weight of 95 grams per quart. If you hit that and you follow that recipe, you'll succeed. Then you're gonna need a mixing container, a 50 gallon drum, preferably uh, foam injected on the bottom, and you're gonna need to put five gallons of water in here and blend in one bag of cement. And once that's been blended in and it has no lumps in it whatsoever, you turn on your foam machine and you use your drill and you inflate that all the way up to six cubic feet. And then you'll need forms of some sort, whether you're going to do, like this structure, a slip form building, or you're going to be building uh, a dome you need to make blocks. You will need a form, some kind of container to cast this aircrete into until it cures. And then in 24 hours, you're ready to start building with them. 
You just have to make sure that your engineering is spot on, that what you're building can be built with the green cement because Aircrete, unlike normal cellular cement, which is steam cured rapidly, takes 28 days to come up to its full strength. And in order to get to its full strength, um, that time has to elapse. So you're building with something green and you've got to do the engineering to make sure that what you are building won't crack and that it's safe and can support the weight, even of second and third floors. And that's no problem. And if you would like to or are considering attending a workshop, we have the Trilingual School of Alternative Building October 9 through 22nd. It's a 14 day course. It's going to show you, we're going to start from bare ground up. We're going to put down a foundation and plumbing. We're going to build a worm composting flush toilet system. We're going to do a slip form uh, aircrete. Pueblo style, adobe style, mini house, similar to this, uh, or tiny house down there, all the way to finish. So we're going to show you how to cast and slip form that properly to avoid mistakes. We're going to show you how to do the roof. We're going to show you how to uh, finish out the interior. You're going to be able to put down the flooring, build the showers, install the toilet, and we're going to teach you how to do solar electric. We're going to show you how to design it for your needs and then how to put the pieces together and how to build the lithium ion battery packs that can save you a ton of money to be able to do a completely off-grid system including where to buy your solar cells wholesale because you never want to pay a dollar a watt. You should be paying somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 49 cents per watt at the most. We're going to show you how to use nanotechnology to make these structures super warm in the winter and super cool in the summer, in addition to the insulation value that we already have with Aircrete, this wonderful structural building material. So if this interests you in any way, if you're sitting on the fence about it, uh, we are offering this as cheaply as we possibly can. It's $1,250, $1,250 to learn all of the skills to bring uh, a house from bare ground to finished and move in ready. And we're going to do this in 14 days. Uh, so if you want to learn how to build your own off-grid location, a bug out location, or you just want to build something beautiful to downsize into and get out of the city's noise and crime and pollution and control. Um, or if you, even if you want to escape the city, at least you can have a plan B because you can find land throughout this country at $3,000 an acre in particular places, certainly for $5,000 an acre, but all you need is a lot. You don't need a great deal of land. You really don't. And when it comes to bugging out or surviving, how then do we live when we haven't spent a life of preparing? We don't necessarily have a lot of money and we don't have the experience to do it. Well, this year when you come and attend the Trilingual School of Alternative Building, you're going to get the video course that shows you how to build aircrete, how to make domes, as well as the survive and thrive blueprint to show you how to just right now with with virtually no experience step out into the wild and be able to be fine, to live and even thrive. In fact, I would say after having done this personally, living inside a small aircrete structure and living minimalistically and living on the land is very healthy, very energizing, very invigorating. And I was surprised to find that even though I already live in a small house, a tiny house and a further simplification of life just enriches, or it enriched my life anyway, so much more. And I believe that you would have a similar experience. So. Click that link below in the description and find out more about this workshop and get your video courses and I'm going to throw in consulting time. Those together are worth the price of what you're having to pay for this course alone even if you didn't come to this course. And there's no other course out there that's going to show you how to make aircrete as well as how to make this aircrete shell a livable, healthy structure that you enjoy and love being inside of. Something that's comfortable, something that's beautiful, something you made with your own hands, something that no one can take away from you. And if society uh, decides to go ahead and uh, not get off the rocker, then you're going to be able to sell these, even though they're not 
traditional structures and not recognize you can still owner finance these and walk away from these and do well. If I had a hundred of these structures today, I could probably sell them over the next week. So just something to consider because I know a lot of us are looking at this ridiculous behavior of our society. We're looking at what are our options, what are our possibilities, and this I can tell you from my experience having lived in straw bale, uh, rammed earth, uh, and earth ships not located in, in the high desert, this is the single best option I have found personally. Having been involved in conventional construction my whole life, there's nothing worse than floods and rotting and mold and having to rebuild something constantly. Whereas with aircrete, sure, you're going to have to maybe slap on a new uh, coat of mud or some paint uh, every 10 or 15 years. Um, but the structure is not going to rot. If you build them round like the structure over here, storms cannot get a hold of them. They're not going to be picked up and blown away. Uh, you're going to be safe in the storms. They're not going to burn down. They're fireproof. The doors may not be fireproof, but the structure itself is fireproof. And my uh, preferred option too is that these are non-toxic. They don't off-gas things that could cause complications in your health at a later time in life. Did you know the normal house has over 250 chemicals all known to cause cancer by the state of California? So just consider that a plan B makes a lot of sense and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Um, in today's society, in the new economy, building an offline business, uh, a video course that will be added and coming up very soon, it's possible to go out to fairly remote areas that have UPS and FedEx service and you're going to be able to do offline business and have internet out in the sticks. So consider uh, the need for this right now and if this resonates with you, I invite you to click the link below and find out more. Also, uh, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated. We're going to be including some more information very soon about survival topics and buying land and getting yourself out of the chaos, out of the city, and we want to equip you uh, with possibilities because if you don't have an awareness of what's possible, then you're going to be like some of the people in New York. You're going to be out sleeping on a mattress in the street trying to get yourself back into another rent payment, whereas you could have land and a life that frees you from the necessity of a job. Uh, even in a downturned market, you're going to be able to make ends meet easily and you're going to have a place to live and you're not going to be stuck in a lowly uh, suffering consciousness as someone who's homeless and on the street. Or if you're just improving your life, you're not going to have the stress of worrying about a mortgage or rent payment. You're going to have something even to fall back onto later. Maybe it's your plan B and you go out and you build this on cheap land and then you can get out there uh, during a major crisis or for a vacation to just get your sanity back. So again, click the link below in the description and I look forward to seeing you at the workshop.